I'm gonna tell you guys a story about a sexual encounter that I had in the astral plane, in the astral realm. So, this was a dream. It wasn't uh, astral projection, so I didn't do it consciously. It wasn't a lucid dream, meaning I didn't wake up in the middle of it and realize it was a dream. But when you're dreaming, you are having an out-of-body experience. You are in the astral plane, okay? Whether it's consciously, which is lucid dreaming, or unconsciously. Astral projection is you consciously and awake having going to that realm, you see? So this experience is categorized under a dream, but it felt so real. And I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna give you the context. I'm not gonna describe to you all the little details here, but I'll give you the context to, to see, uh, or to maybe get a picture of, of what happened, or you can speculate. So the dream begins with this insanely hot woman. She was brunette, long hair, and physically speaking, everything a man could ask for, okay? As far as the physical attributes that most men look for, right? The luscious, the lusciousness, let's say, okay? So, I found myself in a dream. I was naked, she was naked, but I didn't initiate anything. I was just there, okay? And then she comes up to me and starts touching me, okay? Now I'm sitting there, I'm like, hmm, okay, interesting, you know? And she keeps sort of touching me and seducing me. And then I'm like, okay, you really want it? Let's, let's get it on. So, we engage in very intense sex. And I mean, I'm not even going to go into details to describe it, okay? And I swear to God, this feels just as real as having sex in this physical waking consciousness, okay? And anybody who's had, you know, in astral sex or dream sex that, you know, is very vivid... You know, you know that, especially if you're always operating in both states of consciousness and you're aware in your dreams, you know it becomes sometimes difficult to distinguish because, you know, to your subconscious, it's both are real experiences, right? I've been, in fact, I've been kind of dabbling with both states of consciousness so much so that a few months ago, I asked my sister about something and I was very convinced that she's like doing that thing. It turns out she wasn't. It turns out I, I just saw that in my dream and I, I, and I sometimes have a difficulty now. Well, I'm getting better at it, but when you get deep into this shit, it becomes, you know, both worlds become the same because they are the same. Anyway, off tangent here. So... We engage in very, very, very intense sex. And, and I remember the details of it. And I'm not going to spill out the details here because, frankly, that's between me and her. Okay, now, here's the interesting thing. After it was done, right? After I busted my nut. And when I woke up, I have or busted a nut. Like, literally, in the wake, in, when I woke up from the dream. Okay, now here's the interesting thing. When I woke up, you know what the first thing I did? Okay, this is really, this is what fucked me up. This is what fucked me up for a while. The first thing that I did after I woke up and I saw myself covered in, in a pool of my own cum, I thanked her. I thanked her. I thanked her. I said, thank you. I said, thank you, thank you, this was amazing, this was amazing, this was beautiful, this was a beautiful encounter, thank you, and I love you, and I swear, me in this, again, just woke up, I'm in, in between both worlds, right, I can see her and hear her saying, you're welcome, thank you for a great encounter, and I swear to God, 
okay? I swear to God, it felt more real because it was just very intense than some of the sexual encounters, the meaningless ones that you can have here. You, you know, if you had like a meaningless one, not, there's not a whole lot of action, you probably don't remember all that much, right? This one I remember very clearly and very vividly because it was very intense and there was a lot of loving. You know, it wasn't just like passionate, there was like love. And when I woke up, I thanked her. I still thank her now if she's listening to me for a beautiful time, for a beautiful encounter. She was real. That's all I can tell you. She was some kind of an astral spirit. Right now, you can have all interpretations, all theories. Oh man, she's a stuck soul. She wants to have some fun or whatever it is. She existed. As far as I'm concerned, she existed. As far as I'm concerned, we had astral sex. As far as I'm concerned, it feels pretty much just as real, if not more real, than physical waking consciousness sex. And you know what's nice about that? There's like no strings attached. There's just pure love. That's what's nice. It's pure love. There's just pure love going on, right? There's like guilt-free, nothing. Like it's just pure love. And it still boggles me. The first thing that I did while I woke, when I woke up is I thanked her. This was not very conscious of me. I just thanked her. I said, thank you, baby. That was beautiful. And by the way, this is, you can, Start telling me now, oh, you know, she's just a projection of someone you know. No, 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 no. I didn't know her, okay? I didn't know her in real life. That, that was, she, she, she was different. I'm telling you, I didn't, this wasn't a projection. It didn't look like somebody I knew in real life that I was crushing on or that I'm, I've seen randomly. I'm telling you, no. This was a completely different person. A person that I've, I haven't met in, in the waking consciousness, right? So, yeah, I don't know what to make of it, really. I don't, it, was, it was good. It was beautiful. It was fun, right? And if you're listening to me, you know, if you want to go again, I'm here. I'm available. But it really freaks me out, man. It really freaks me out. You know what freaks me out? What freaks me out is... It's fucking hot, like, it is virtually impossible to distinguish that consciousness from this consciousness. They feel the same. They feel the same. They absolutely feel the same. It, it really, like, I'm mind fucked. I'm mind fucked with all this shit, bro. I'm mind fucked. Anyway, that's where I'm going to finish off this video. God bless you all. If you are having astral sex, make sure you wear protection and uh, prevent yourself from any uh, possible sexually transmitted diseases. That's my disclaimer. Be safe in your practice. <laughs> and as always, don't forget to subscribe or you're going to sleep with some sexy fishes. So subscribe.